Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about prime factors and prime factorization. We know already about prime numbers and composite numbers, right? But if you're still confused about prime numbers and composite numbers, then I'll be posting that tutorial video in the description box where you can check. Now let's move on to prime factorization. What do we mean by prime factorization? Every composite number can be factored into prime numbers. And so, to find such factors, we divide the numbers successively by prime numbers 2, 3, 5, and so on, and express it as a product of prime numbers. Okay, let's have some examples for you to understand how to do that. Let's have 24. We'll be using factor 3 in solving this problem. Let's think of the factors of 24. Maybe we can write 6 and then 4. 6 is a composite number, same as through with 4. So let's find factors of 6, that's 3 and 2, and the factors of 4, that's 2 and 2. So we have all here prime numbers. We can rewrite these numbers from least to greatest. How many twos do we have there? Okay, let's rewrite three twos. That's one, two, and then three. Then we will write one three. But we can still simplify this by writing the exponential notation of this. So we'll write two to the third power because we have three twos and then times three. Our final answer is two to the third power times three. It is easy, right? Okay, let's have another example. Let us have 36. What are the factors of 36? We can write 36 here. That's 6 times 6. 6 is a composite number, so let's find the factors of 6. That's 3 and 2, and then 3 and 2. We can rewrite this by writing the least number first, going to the biggest number. That's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We can rewrite using exponential notation, that's 2 to the second power and 3 to the second power. And our final answer is 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power or 2 squared times 3 squared. Next one, we have here 80. We can think of the factors of 80, that's 8 times 10. 8 is 4 times 2 and 10 is 5 times 2. But 4 is still a composite number, that's 2 and 2. Next, we can rewrite them from the least to the greatest number. We have 4 twos there, so we can rewrite 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we have the 5, only 1, 5. And we can simplify by writing the exponential form of this number. So that's 2 to the 4th times 5. Our final answer is 2 to the 4th times 5. Next one, please. And that is 100. What are the factors of 100? We can write, the easiest way is to write 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 5 times 2, 5 times 2. We'll rewrite from least to the greatest. We'll have two twos and two fives. We can rewrite the exponential notation. That's 2 squared times 5 squared. Our final answer is 2 squared times 5 squared. Okay, the next one is 1200. The easiest factors that I can think of are 12 and 100. 12, that's 6 times 2, and 6 is 3 times 2. 100 is 10 times 10, and 10, 5 times 2, and 5 times 2. All we need to do is rewrite them from least to greatest. How many 2's do we have there? That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We have 4 2's, and we have 1 3, and then we have 2 5's. Okay, let's do the exponential notation to make it easier. We can write 2 to the 4th power times 3, times 5 squared. 
our final answer is 2 to the 4th power times 3 times 5 squared. And we're done. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comments section. Our question is, give the prime factorization of 300. Thank you for answering! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!